guys, we got Coach Haley here. So you guys know the drill. Get the hands up, and we'll get you in the queue, and we'll uh, get this thing started. So he's got to run to a meeting at 1.30, so let's try and uh, keep it short with him. So first one up. All right, Dave, go ahead. Hey, Brick. Uh, a lot of the guys have, have said a lot of good things about Kobe, um, you know, this summer. And just, has he kind of found his voice as a leader of not just your group, but, but maybe this whole team? Yeah, well, I think Kobe uh, is that type of young man. That's just who he is. Uh, it's not like he's changed anything he's done. He's uh, been working his butt off, but he's not a vocal leader. He goes out and he works. He doesn't talk. Uh, so I just think they've seen his work ethic through the summer and uh, – Maybe that is where that's coming from. But, uh, yeah, he has not changed as, as being vocal or anything like that in the room. Adam, go ahead. Hey, Coach. Um, last year I think you guys had an SEC worst 19 sacks. Um, I was just kind of curious what, um, in your opinion, needs to change to up the productivity of, of the pass rush this year? You basically got to play better. Uh, Russ, we got to get off blocks faster. We got to play a little bit with a little bit more intensity. Um, we got to be really sound in our technique and fundamentals as pass rushers. Mitch, go ahead. Hey, Brick. Kind of actually in a similar vein. I remember last year in camp, you saying that sack numbers were maybe a little bit overblown. That you know your first priority is is having a defensive line that can stop the run. Um, I guess is, is there a, a number that that you feel like is is you know satisfactory as far as sacks, or is that not something you even really look at? Uh, well, I think you got to look at it because it's an important part of the game. But what we look at is uh, out of every 12 passes they throw, we want to try to get two sacks. That's the percentage that we have. Every 12 passes, we want to try to get two sacks. Uh, but again, if we just keep letting them run it, they're going to have to throw it. So we do have to play the run first and get the run stopped, and then we got to do a better job of being uh, great pass rushers. Peter, go ahead. Yeah, I was I was just wondering about with on the top of Kobe, how much harder do you think it'll be for him this year to kind of get off the same pass rush he got last year without a guy like Jordan there taking up blocks? You know, I, I don't know. I can't answer that really realistically. I think what he's got to do is continue to improve his game day in and day out. And if he can duplicate what he done last year, it will be phenomenal. Uh, but we're always pushing to get more. Mm -hmm. Max Baker, go ahead. I know it's early, but what, is, what are your first impressions of Ben Key and, you know, what does he sort of bring to the defensive line and does he fit in right now? Right now he brings some depth. Uh, you know, I think uh, the game for him is st he's still catching up to the game. I think he'll be fine as we go through the process. But right now uh, I think the biggest thing for him is to continue to develop him. Nate Edwards, go ahead. Yeah, along those lines, Coach, you got a lot of new guys, uh, but a lot more established guys. Of, of the new guys that are on the line, do you see any that are pushing the older guys and pushing for playing time or really popping on the field? Well, I think that's, that's part of uh, what you're supposed to do in that room. You're supposed to push each other to compete every day, and uh, every day uh, the depth chart can change. Uh, I think there's some young guys that are, are, are making pushes. I think there's some older guys that think that they got they, – they got things wrapped up. These younger guys are pushing them. So they're going to have to continue to up their game every day. And that's what it is. We, we come in and we want to compete every day. All right, last one for Coach Haley comes from Gabe. Gabe, go ahead. Yeah, Brick, uh, last year I know Darius Robinson and Isaiah McGuire both got out there a little bit, kind of got their feet wet. Curious what you see out of those guys compared to a year ago and, and also which spot you've got Isaiah at because I know he's a guy that can move around a little bit. Well, I think, uh, you know, Darius has, has had great improvement. Uh, really, really been pleased with his progress uh, up until now. I think he'll only continue to get better. I'm really excited about him for this season. Uh, Isaiah McGuire is another guy that uh, we're probably going to do like we did with kill his sophomore year and let him play inside and out. And so he's going to have to do double duty. But uh, he's a smart kid. He's uh, been really, really good. Um, learning the system, understanding the system, understanding blocking schemes. So I've been really, really uh, pleased with his progress. All right, guys, we'll let Coach Haley go with that. So thank you. Thank you.